All right, a ton to talk about with this product. Uh, I hope you guys stick around because I do have a lot to say. I really am into these earbuds. So let's uh, go ahead and get into it. See, I'm a bit of an audio addict. By that, I mean I'm the kind of person that likes to have something playing in the background basically all of the time. Because of course, truly wireless earbuds have been one of the most convenient ways of getting that kind of experience. Often by, like I just showed you, having one earbud in so that the other ear is open to whatever is in front or around me. But it's not a perfect solution. Often having even one earbud in your ear feels just intrusive enough to hinder both sides of that experience. There are earbuds out there that have tried to mitigate this via things like ambient sound modes. Basically the microphone funnels sound in while there's an actual physical vent that allows a little bit of air to seep into your ears for further comfort. Those products might have been a good step in the right direction, but usually they're prioritizing active noise cancellation. It's more about immersion over integration, and their ambient modes just leave something to be desired. But for whatever reason, Sony decided to take on this very notion and created earbuds that are all about letting the whole world blend in with whatever you might be listening to. The result is a pair of earbuds that have become my go-to every day. Hey, it's Joshua Vergara. What's going on, everybody? Thanks for uh, indulging me on that long intro, and these are the Sony Link Buds. I'm doing this video in the format of what worked and what didn't, so let's get started with the first thing that really worked, the design. These are really small earbuds, right down to the fact that the case that the two buds fit in are just big enough for them. But before we even get to the unique looking earbuds themselves, uh, what struck me about these Link Buds is the feel of the case. There's a particularly noticeable matted feel to everything here, one that almost reminds you of like a raw material rather than something that has been smoothed out. Uh, now while that might not be what is actually being used here, it's not far from the truth, because Sony is actually using recycled automobile materials, as much as possible at least in this product, which itself is a great thing to see just for the sake of sustainability. Even the packaging is made of as much bio-friendly material as possible. But beyond the materials, the design is again quite minimal and easy to have in a pocket or a bag. The earbuds are then pulled into their respective spots in here via magnets, but one thing to keep in mind is that there's still this little clip on the back so that you hear this little click and it allows them to get even more secure. One thing to bear in mind, however, is that the uh, tiny size of the link buds all around could make them a little tough to handle super securely. I will admit, I actually dropped the case one time while trying to fish it out of my bag, which led to the case opening upon impact and the earbud that was inside fumbling out. Thankfully, nothing was damaged. But speaking of durability, the Link Buds do have an IPX4 certification, which makes them plenty applicable for like workout scenarios and maybe the occasional splash. Okay, this is something that is always contentious in the audio world because when you're dealing with a product that is supposed to go in your ear, well, let's just say everyone's comfort level is different. Yes, there is a literal hole in the portion that's supposed to sit in your ear, and there's a speaker lining that circular area. Here's a quick throwback for my fellow elder millennials. Do you remember those cheapo earbuds that we all grew up with that were basically just a tiny plastic speaker sitting in the main outer portion of your ear? Now that I'm thinking about it, the pair I'm picturing might have actually been made by Sony as well. Well, this seems to me like the literal evolution of those old earbuds. I can see this circular area being the part that people have trouble feeling fully comfortable with. I make this joke with basically every earbud video, but honestly, it's true. I think I have the most average ears of all time because I rarely ever have discomfort with earbuds straight out of the box. That is also the case with the Sony Link Buds. You see, the speaker doesn't actually go into your ear canal, but rather they sit just before that threshold so that anything can enter from sound to air to further combat that earplug feeling that many earbuds have. So to be as secure as possible, these wing tips right here are the key. It's important to figure out which of these wings will help anchor the link buds best into your ears, because otherwise they can fall out pretty easily since they're not being shoved into your ear canal for security. So clearly the link buds are meant to prioritize comfort from the airflow that's possible to the spatial awareness because of the nature of their design. But when it comes down to it, this is the shape that you get in these earbuds, and yet no two pairs of ears are or feel the same. For now, this will just remain a somewhat novel form factor for earbuds, and they definitely are super unique. But perhaps in the future, we're going to see further experimentation by brands like Sony and maybe even beyond to find an even more universally comfortable shape for this type of earbud. Speaking of features though, um, there are a couple of omissions here that are understandable, but I do feel need to be addressed. Uh, and no, I'm not talking about active noise cancellation just yet. 
The main thing for me that is missing here is wireless charging. For a pair of earbuds that can potentially be perpetually in use, keeping the case topped up easily is really convenient. Unfortunately, this tiny case doesn't support wireless charging and has to be charged via the USB-C port back here. Now to be fair, wire charging doesn't seem to take too long. The other feature that I know some people really hope for is multi-point connection. This is when you can, let's say, listen to media from your laptop, but then if a call comes in on your phone and you answer it, the earbud can shift focus automatically and accordingly. Unfortunately, it's not here either, but it's not a huge deal for me personally. Uh, at least pairing is easy given this button that's on the rear of the case, and then switching from device to device is just a matter of hitting the link buds in the various Bluetooth menus. To me, that's easy enough, but I do understand why people would prefer multi-point to be included. Okay, so we have a unique design clearly employed for the sake of listener comfort. I'm getting to the sound quality and the experience of listening to these earbuds, but let's talk about their control real quick. One issue I know that people have with earbuds is the act of tapping, pressing, or holding on them, because it can actually take away from the comfort. For example, you can press on an earbud, but that pushes it in or shifts it around. Or pinching a stem can sometimes just make you accidentally remove the earbud. Well, Sony thought about that too, because there's a feature here called Wide Area Tap. Through some sort of sound or vibration detection, the earbuds are able to perceive taps around them, meaning that the double or triple tap that you would usually do on the surface of the earbud can actually be done on your face, right next to the earphone. Let's say double tap your sideburn to play, you hear the dun dun when you do the double tap, or you can triple tap to do things like trigger a Google Assistant to read your notifications, depending on what controls you set up for either side. This is a rather ingenious way of mitigating yet another aspect of potential discomfort. And weirdly, it's another way that the Link Buds manage to integrate themselves pretty seamlessly into everyday use. Seriously, the wide area tap is really reliable. Almost so much in fact that the tapping can be done on almost any part of my ear around the earbud. It can just trigger it like my earlobe. Or if I needed to go hands free and pause the single earbud that I have in, I can actually do this. I literally do that once in a while, but I will say for whatever reason, this teeth clicking that I'm doing in order to do those taps, it doesn't work as well when both earbuds are in. It's something that I can only do when there's only one earbud in on either side. But while the wide area tab is a particularly great feature, I will admit that just having double or triple taps as the methods of control feels a little limited. I'm more than happy to have the taps available on the earbud or via wide area, but then pressing and holding on the earbud itself I feel should still be available. The main reason why I would want this is because there's actually good voice assistant support on here. Amazon and Google Assistant can be used with the link buds. And in the case of Google Assistant, you can do the double tap and trigger the assistant, or you could just say, hey G. That is all great, but I would just prefer to talk to Google Assistant walkie-talkie style via holds like this and then letting go when I'm done. Because sometimes voice detection can't tell when you stop talking. Still, for what is given here in terms of control, Google Assistant integration is pretty well done. I just think a bit more control will have helped here and in general. But let's go in and get back to the point of the link buds. The fact that they can let the world in with or without anything playing through them. As I mentioned before, the design of these link buds means way more airflow than any of those vents that we've seen on like the AirPods Pro or the Pixel Buds or the Galaxy Buds Live. The earplug feeling is virtually gone, resulting in basically, let's say 80 to 90% of the feeling that there isn't actually anything in my ears, which is why in some videos lately, you've seen me just leave it in while I'm recording my A-roll. When playing media, you'll still be able to clearly hear the people around you and actually yourself as well, making environmental awareness awareness a huge plus here. To be fair, some earbuds can actually amplify outside sounds as an alternative and that can be a useful feature, but that's digital noise and doesn't address the physical feeling of those earbuds. One thing to consider though, like with open back headphones, those same people that you can hear can probably hear what you're listening to as well. Not necessarily to the point of them understanding what you're listening to, but just enough to make it clear you are listening to something else. But with one earbud in, and let's say half volume, you can actually have the soundtrack of your everyday playing. Whether it's music playing while you're doing stuff, or spoken word content like podcasts that you can focus on, but you won't get so lost in as easily. Speak to Chat, a feature we've seen in other Sony headphones, is here as well. By detecting that you are talking, the link buds will pause so that you can comfortably converse, after which it will resume playback after a certain amount of time that you're silent. It's certainly implemented the best here because of just how the link buds are constructed, but as someone that does talk pretty frequently even when things are playing, it can get a little bit annoying. Besides, it's easy enough for me to just tap my sideburn or do the teeth click. <laughs> 
There is a reason why you keep hearing me and my peers say these are most like open back headphones. It's because there's no questioning how headphones like that, even without the more isolating qualities of closed back or noise cancellation headphones, the fact that they can sound really great still. The same goes for the Link Buds, because they actually sound really good. One point of the spectrum that you'll miss is bumping bass, mainly because there isn't actually anything in your ear and rocking the eardrum. But the low ends are certainly there, confirmed for me by the fact that the deep voices of speakers in my favorite YouTube channels and podcasts still resonate really well. And even though I focused on the use case of just having one earbud in, I've definitely enjoyed having both in from time to time and just listening to music or podcasts while working away. The difference with these headphones compared to any other ones I would use here in the office is that I can clearly hear Isa from the desk next to me if she needs to grab my attention. Right? Yes. But even if the isolated experience of an active noise canceling pair of headphones might not be there anymore, I have to give the Link Buds some points back for being one of the most comfortable pairs of earbuds I have ever used. As the homie Thunder E over at Board at Work said in his video regarding these earbuds, active noise cancellation is not a measure of good sound quality. The Link Buds sound great, but they're just a different listening experience. For some of you that might be a deal breaker because you just want to swim in the sound, but I would argue that Sony is just taking immersion to a different level. One that doesn't have you separate yourself from everything outside of the product, but instead just immersing both together and making it so that your digital media doesn't have to take away from your real world interactions and vice versa. What Sony have achieved here is exactly what the Pixel Buds and the AirPods Pro were trying to achieve, an audio product that is on the same level as the smartwatch that might be on your wrist. It might be a bit niche, but for someone like me that just likes to have things playing all the time or to have my digital content at the ready, the Link Buds finally give me that use case. They're certainly better than the various audio glasses that I have covered on this channel. These have better sound quality, better battery life, they're a bit less intrusive, and they are decidedly cheaper. At $179, you are paying for a different kind of headphone experience, and it's up to you to decide whether or not this rather unique take on earbuds actually fits in your lifestyle. If anything, we're starting to reach the point where there are now headphones for multiple use case scenarios. Uh, hear me out here. Maybe you have active noise canceling headphones for full isolation in situations like travel. Maybe you have studio open back headphones for video editing. You have a microphone toting pair of cans for gaming. And then you have the link buds. You have these for all the moments in between. And as long as these don't make your unique shape of ear uncomfortable, you might actually find yourself being a little bit more like me and having at least one of them in a lot of the time. Maybe not even playing anything. The earbud is just there for those times when you can hit play. Or maybe you get some sort of call. And since the earbud is already there, you could just go ahead and tap, get into the call, and the call quality is going to be pretty good. Here is your mic test, by the way. Uh, I'm using the Samsung Galaxy S22 right now uh, in the Pro Video mode using Bluetooth earbud as the mic. Uh, so when it comes to video calls or audio calls or anything like that, of course, the quality is going to uh, vary because of connections and whatnot. But here's a taste of what these earbuds would sound like straight through the microphones to this recording. So with the Sony Link Buds, going back and forth from digital to life is really easy, with the blending of the two actually comfortably possible as well. So maybe for the first time, we can actually call a product a hearable. Or at the very least, this is definitely the best step toward that potential category of tech that we've seen thus far. For more on audio products like the Sony Link Buds, subscribe to my channel. Sound off by hitting the like button and by getting into the comments. From there, I'm going to go ahead and call it on this one. Thank you so much for watching. Please take care of yourselves and each other and... Enjoy your tea, everybody. This isn't tea, but...